going on guys it's your boy chopper slice and you're now back with coach boy tv sports and card aka chopping tosh entertainments aka keeping it cousin but it ain't nothing but look nah we just uh we was on a modern warfare campaign um man i wasn't feeling it i couldn't get into it so we just switched over to ufc4 and now I'm going back to my mission on um, how to use Calvin Cater. Playing with Cater a lot, I thought I had his uh, moves down packed, and I thought I knew how to actually use him um, to his best ability. But there's some new things that I've learned about him that uh, that stands out. So um, Hooker was tearing me to pieces yesterday as I was watching. I mean, as I was uh, fighting him and watching and playing with him, um, I've learned some uh, things about how to use Cater. Um, they've nerfed his health, I think, but they should up his chin. His chin should be five star, and um, his heart should be five star. But aside from all that, and his cardio, by the way. Aside from all that, we working with what we got, so we're going to try to get through this fight smoothly. And uh, I'm going to fight how I thought he should be, you know, how I think he should be used. Um, I've learned a lot from messing with Hooker yesterday, so Hooker likes to work that body. And that jab of Calvin Cater is when I keep that jab and I don't let Hooker tag my body the whole time and I protect my body more and not take super bad punches like that the whole entire time. I tend to do way better with Calvin Cater. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing. In all and of some people would probably know Calvin Cater better to his loss to Max Holloway. Like um, some people was using Calvin Cater, especially people that know about fighting, like Marshall Mind and guys like him, Prioxis and Aiden Zero, Creative Player. Um, Danny P, guys like that, Rhino, you know, those guys that usually, you know, that I usually watch, um, only a few of them come in my channel, but, you know, a lot of them, like, uh, Marshall Mind, I, I was watching his videos before I started streaming, um, Prioxys and all of those guys, they know about how to use certain fighters and what their weapons are. And I like Cater. His heart really impressed me the day he fought um, Holloway. Yeah, I know he took a loss. And I know most people, you know, especially that are one-track minded, are going to just go for the one who wins. But his heart stood out to me. And uh, he could be a dangerous guy if he, you know, learns how to control the moment and the fight. You know what I mean? Fight at his pace. And that's what we want to do with Hooker here. It's such a fast we want to fight at our pace. Counters now left hook to the headlands. I want to faint. Just a slip there. At times. Left hand punch with the clinch. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean the accuracy is unbelievable. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh. Oh. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent dead. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Ooh, what a punch. 
<clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'm testing something out here. Remember, I told you when we were using Conor McGregor, one of his main weapons was his left hand, period. Calvin Caters, one of his main weapons is his cross. And hook. Hit him with some deep combos. And I need to learn how to do my throws better and uh, cancel out. When I was online using the ground, I noticed that the menu didn't let me know when to cancel and all of that I have to get better at that I'm gonna have to start practicing it with the hood off so Okay, good round. Let's run her back. Round one uh, us between two let's get it. Best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what it no can hooker. Do. I'm not just gonna let you sit and do that to me no more. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. I know that pool counter. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection. There's an important DC. thing, Another Calvin Cater's arsenal. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Nice kick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big punch lands through the middle. Lands the right hand. Oh. Oh, both. Both lands it. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good time. This is with that punch. Be unpredictable. There's a way to be unpredictable. If you want to just use hands... I recommend you to use feet and everything with Cater, but... If you want to just use his hands, his hands are nice. Be just be unpredictable. <clears throat> Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. <clears throat> Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any help. He's going to throw a knee. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, wow. Cater's more stronger when his feet's planted. Can't take many of those. You better check. To, now to move, you can break them down. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily. Oh. Nice. Beautiful takedown. All right, let's work on a little bit of ground and pound here. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Hooker. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Right punches there. To deny. The fighter reverses position there on the ground. Let's get on up. Position change. Wow, what a transition. That knee might have landed there. Oh, yet another beautiful knee there by Hooker. Great punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Good punch. Slips. Oh, nice. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Boom. Big jab. And now he lands a combination. A lot of this has to do with my controller, too. I noticed that. A lot of mistakes that I made. No, no, no lie. And that's my fault from dropping it all the time. <laughs> oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Misses with the right hand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice shot moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Beats a big knee. Shot there, DC. All right, let's see. Who goes with you? Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to circle. It's 
stay in the vicinity. I learned this from keep our pocket, stay in the pocket. We can we can keep up with the with hooker in the pocket. Just keep landing with just basic combinations. You can do that with with um with Cater. It's comfortable. Cater is comfortable for you to do that with. But we just gotta watch Cater. Um, if he takes too many blows to the head, he's tough. Now he can recover. He's tough. He's got a decent chin. But it seems to me they're telling a lie on the stats. They need to make it a little more stronger. Make it not so easy for him to get get rocked. They got it real easy for him to get cut though. That's the only thing you need to watch with Cater. Like, come on, man. Like, that's too early, man. Danny right, Hooker, so come on, bro. His opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Ooh, what a punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Big leg kick land. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Now, I think if we work Hooker's body a little better, I think we'll get him. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to paint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Hooker gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. That was nice play. Back and forth we go. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Another one. Yep. Now, if I can evade Hooker's cross when I'm moving, get that cigarette you dropped. Regardless of who's fighting, the English fans show up. They love fights. They're very understanding. They show up every single time. They're knowledgeable. They're ready to cheer. But don't be crazy. They will pull you out of that building. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice call. You stay smooth. Don't be none fancy. You stay smooth. Just keep beating him to the punch the whole time. The shot. Keep that cross counter, nice. that pull counter going. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick. As there. much as we can. Nice kick landed by the jump. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I gotta get better at landing, but seeing how it's easier to land, I gotta figure out how I can easier land the leg kick with Cater. He don't have a quick leg kick. But I want to get that cross in there as much as I can. Did I believe him? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, that's a nice strike. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Every time he works my hits my body, I wanna right hand upstairs. He's gotta start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Counter jab snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Nice straight punch. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Lands flush with that right hand. 
Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Oh, good kicks there. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything's changing when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the movement. Okay, I see what's going on. All right. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a cool fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Straight punch lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Punches block. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in D.C. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden. It, oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! Straight right, he misses. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. You got to check these low leg kicks. Leg kick. Out of range with that one. <laughs> that right hand landed. Checks the leg kick. Nice counter right hook there. Big leg kick land. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Ooh, big shot land. If I don't let Hooker get set up, then I think we got it. And Calvin Cater is capable of that. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. And now he's got the tie clinch. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Nice strike. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little explosive. Yes, I do. Oh, I'm banging. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Got clip. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, man, he's a hard. All right, good job. All right, let's run her, run her back again. Ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. The there are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Able to check that kick as well. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Rock him, shock him out of the shoot here. Came of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Blocks the shot. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, big punch land. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Good punch land. Three minutes to go. Strong hook land. kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Boy, Ty Plum. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he needs to try to chase down that kick. Under two minutes to go. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. So there, I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Work with the strikes here off of his back by Hooker. All right, stack guard here. The feet are on the hips. What are you trying to do if you're in top position? Oh, man, you're attacking those feet right away because you understand that the guy with the feet on the hip, all he has to do is just extend his leg. Right. He's a grown man that's pushing you off as you're trying to build into him. Attack the feet with your hands, head, chest, back, lead with your hips, pass the feet. Back with that off of DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. That knee might have landed there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give you Good round. Good round from both of those men, man. man. He's having a tough time it was a good round. Hitting his offense going because that jab is just... That busted my nose around. right there. That's the reason why my nose is bleeding. But I got Hooker, Hooker's face a little bruised up, too. Ready? Ready? Round two here. 
look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh! Oh, nice punch there by Hooker. He missed with that jab attempt there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, nice right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch lands over the top. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. I knew he was going to go for that. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper back. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good stick. How about that shin? Try to establish that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. Right hand on point. a little bit try a different strategy because it's not it's I, I feel like i got better hands than hooker it's not that it's just that hooker's got a little bit of power man things up keep it busy being very active lands with the right hand just out of range with that strike Cool, thanks for following, man. Thanks for following. And this could be trouble here. Truly Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch it. And he's out. Oh, man. Oh, he's that guilty. Oh, and there's 
used the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the So I think I'm winning this fight. Maybe some say styles make fights, man. It's not that Hooker got better hands and styles, man. Big ball punch land. And I will get back in range. And I don't I think Cater is more left handed. He needs to if he learned his head movement. He throws it like a piston back. Like I'm moving my head, he's just not evading. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean the accuracy is unbelievable. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Shit. Come on. You do me better than that now, EA. <laughs> right back at the O2 Arena here in London, England, and man, are you royalty around these parts? Oh, I mean, you can barely make your way to uh, the John, John, oh, stop, John, oh, stop, John, oh, stop. I'm okay, maybe in England, they might love you more than Mixes it, it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, I'm going to try to completely dominate. Oh, well done to block the elbow there. Good defense. That's my strategy. Big kick land. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice. See, I can stop him with that cross every time. As long as I time it right. Just a basic one-two can beat Hooker. You're just gonna stonewall me on that challenge. Oh, I love it. I hit him with a ton of mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you, John. It was one of my nicest and most fun moments. My problem is I lean into punches sometimes. So that causes me more damage. Now look, when I'm not doing that, I'm just simply countering. That's what you do with, with Cater. You just you just counter, you know? Don't lean into him. He's he's not the greatest at head movement. Now he can move his head. I've seen him dip and 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 embrace great counters, but the way he counters is different, man. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing, boxing. And everything's landing with so much power. Right on the button. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Now connects with a right. Nice punch land over the top. 
Mm. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Just out of the range with that right hand. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this one. He sets them up beautifully. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Unable to connect there. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. You take more of these leg kicks, and you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Booker gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. That is a stiff jab. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh, straight right. Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed him. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Back and forth we go. Big kick. Massive head kick. Lands a good combination. Final seconds of round one. You got it. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Round two is next. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. Well, I'm not sure... The moving on its own man come on now all right so here we are back in london england as the ufc continues to make its presence felt here in the uk and capacity crowd on hand as usual here tonight when the ufc expanded when the ufc started going all around the world becoming a global sport london was a target area england was a target country because we understood how much the fans care about sport you watch it in the football game you watch it hear that? Football. You watch it in the way that they show up. The UFC approached this place. The UFC targeted England. We went there, and every time the fans have showed up. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Beautiful strike. Not there. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock the judges' heads off. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Counters with the left. Continues to go. All 
right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Hooker. Plus right hand is true. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice right hand. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful <laughs> execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Just missed with that right hand. Big kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. You know, sitting here going through this, guys, I've learned something. Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee, what a right hand. They right need to go man. through and, and work on Calvin Cater, man. They they got him all screwed up, dude. They got his they got him all screwed up. There's time like I don't know what it is. It's just that he feels right. It's not his moves. He just deserves better. Like Hooker shouldn't be stunning him this way. Like I'm hitting Hooker with some of the best shots, and 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 Calvin Cater produces decent power. Hooker should be out. Some of these shots that I'm hitting him with, man. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice move for punch. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a mess. Pretty good right hand. They continue to exchange. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the bone. Kind of looks like me at the book. Yeah. He's used everything he could early in the fight, and now he's just in survival mode. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. This guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what do you choose? Come on, stamina's down, okay. I'm going to try dirty boxing in as well. I mean, we want to join the party. The fans are going crazy. They're singing. They're cheering. They're screaming. This is a great fighting party. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. Good I mean, you connection. insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Trying to kick the leg out. What a punch. Good job.
overhand attempt. Now it's blocked by him. Slips to avoid the right. Now he touches him with the left. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively. Here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports. Looking at jab on him. Jab, this young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch down. <laughs> and he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh! Nice hook. Oh, straight right. Slips to avoid that left. Dig and kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Great punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice kick. Table inches right there, oh, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, oh big knee. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, straight right. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right? Whoa! Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Back to the feet now. Just misses with the straight right. Nice one, two there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Whoa! I got a plan. I got a plan. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Hey, I uh, practicing, man. It's pretty cool. Get right, your game up. Seconds to go in the round. Great punch landed with so much power. Whiffs on the straight right hand. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's try the dirty boxing the whole time. Really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. These guys throwing early. 
Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Nice punch. Oh! Just missing on the high kick there. Nice kick landed there by Hooker. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. It's a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch the fight like this. I'm not going to around anymore. And see what Hooker has. I know what Hooker has. Hooker's, Hooker's decent, man. Hooker's good. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Throws the right hand there. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Just misses with the jab. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing this time. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Leg kick. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head, he's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Beautiful punch. That cross, man, Calvin Kidder's cross. See, some of this should be, should be taking Hooker to the ground, man. Display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, big right hand, yes. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Trying to establish that jab once again. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes. To Shot oh, yeah. there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go against the fight. Good job. My, you beat me to the punch. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You can get the kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know. Who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to? It's a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Let's get that jab going again. Just misses with that one. Beautiful body kick. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Ooh, what a punch. They're certainly getting after it early. Get right here. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Come on, oh, look at 
look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, it always brings his hands right back to his face. And he landed the right hand there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. There's no kill on that leg kick. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Okay, that's the counter for that. Alright. That shot blocked by Hooker. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. Oh, nice strike landed there by Hooker. Continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside of his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well placed kick there by Hooker. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He blocks the punch. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Hooker. That one's not in. Nice. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Connects with the right. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. That is a gutty leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Real sneaky body kick. Lands the right hand. Hooker's strike attempt there is blocked. Nicely done to the body. There's no tell on that leg kick. Take down attempt late, and it's good. Final seconds here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back. And these guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. Very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would... You want a bathroom? Yeah. I think I gotta get it.
Well, missed on that one. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Hook shot lands. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing and show and talk to your toughness. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the grounded pound starts. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be Now trying to trap an arm. And attack an arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. And this might just be a matter of time. Ah, he got me. Well, till next time, guys. Not having too much luck.